Hello, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you for a premiere. This is not live. I'm premiering this, so if anyone jumps in and wondering why I'm not saying hello in person, it's because it looks like a live, but it's not really. So we're so happy you can be here though, and I hope that you connect with one another, say hello to each other. Find out where you're all from, where you're watching. I just love that this brings all these different people together from all around the world. It's really exciting. And I've got some great creative ideas for you again today that I wanted to share. There's a really exciting product medley in the brand new annual catalogue that you may have missed. Bruno's done a few cards using it, the Boho medley. Uh, but her indigo, as we say, <laughs> there's a funny character on TV that we absolutely love <laughs> called Kath and Kim. And there's there's Prude and Trude, they're the characters in Kath and Kim. And that's exactly how they would say this product medley. Burr, her, indigo, because they're just so posh. <laughs> and there is the card that we're making today. Now, I'm really, really excited about this, and I know a lot of people don't quite understand product medleys, so I want to help you understand a little bit more about what a, what a product medley is, maybe even the price, because you might look at the price and it's sitting in the kit section, and it's like, whoa, that's a really expensive kit. Why is that kit so expensive? But I want to explain exactly what you get in this medley of products. And just how much product there is actually available. So this kit or this product medley is going to make a huge amount of cards. And I'm going to dive on in and show you exactly what I mean. So I've got the page open here in the catalogue. It's page nine of the catalogue. And as you can see, Boho Indigo product medley suite. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love all of these designs and ideas in the sample section. Uh, but as you can see here, it's really interesting because you've got paper, you've got a stamp set and framelits or dies, you've got ribbon, and then you've got all these other die cuts as well. So it, it's quite an interesting um, idea because there's just so much jam packed into this that you can't really truly see. Like even this stamp set, it's actually shown at 50%. So it doesn't really highlight it to its full potential, hence why we wanted to highlight it for you today in case you missed it. Now, what is great about the product medley is Stampin' Up! for the first time I've done a refill kit as well. Maybe they did a refill kit last time. Okay, don't quote me on that. But anyway, I'm really happy there's a refill kit and that enables you to get everything other than the stamp set and the dies because, of course, once you get them once, you're not going to need to get them again. But everything else, the paper and uh, the ribbon, of course, we want to have extras of that. So I don't think you get the ribbon in the in the refill, though. No, just the designer series paper and the little paper flowers. So good to know. Now, this is a really great uh, stamp set as well. It's got, as you can see here, it's a lot bigger in the flesh. Lots of great ideas all these gorgeous flowers, things that you can use in the background as well, and some fantastic sentiments. I always love a, a mashup of images and sentiments because it means that you have a lot more variety from the one stamp set, which is always handy. Now, the dies itself are these ones here, covered in designer series paper and ribbon. So they're the dies. We put it on a magnetic sheet that we just got from eBay online. So some really beautiful detailed leaves and things like that, which we're going to use today. And I love that these leaves, they cut and emboss at the same time. So they leave an imprint in the image or in the, in the die cut, which is great. Now, we also have these gorgeous ribbons. So this is a beautiful gold um, ribbon, quite sturdy. It's not a soft ribbon. Uh, and then this Night of Navy ribbon as well. And this is quite, yeah, both of them are very textured and, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous ribbons. So, and then we also have the paper. So let me show you the paper and the little flowers. So these are the paper flowers here. 
really, really sweet. And then we've got the paper and then the, the die cuts as well. So I've used this a lot already. We've made quite a number of cards using this. And you can see there is a lot here still, like a lot. Um, you get with the paper, it's like there's quite a number of multiples, um, more than usual. So I think, yeah, you get six of the the designer series papers of the same one, which is great because normally it's four, so you're getting two extra. And then you've got all these amazing die cuts that you can use as well for your sentiments. Um, you've also got the very vanilla um, embossing here as well. Hopefully you can see that okay. There it is there. So really subtle, gorgeous. But I'm going to show you today how you can really highlight that embossing. Uh, and just a great variety of paper that, of course, is double-sided as always. So you have lots of choices there with your paper, more die cuts. But, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I've had so much fun with this already, and I love the Night of Navy and the vanilla together. It's a beautiful combo, and they're the little paper flowers there. They're super cute. And they're great to put down with just some glue dots. So there you go. So there's a lot in it. And you don't realise it until you sort of see it like this. Hence why, as I mentioned before, that why I wanted to highlight it for you. Uh, because it is one of those things that you could easily miss. But, you know, when you look at designer series paper like this, there's 48 sheets of designer series paper. So you're looking at at least double that. So probably 70 what would it be, 76 cards minimum, um, even if you just use these as a card front and then the, the extra piece, you're at least getting two cards from each sheet, uh, but you could even get more than that if you wanted to, you could extend this, you know, so much more, so, you know, possibly over 100 cards this could make, but that's just with the paper, uh, with the stamp set and the dies, unlimited <laughs> it's just as long as you have cardstock available then great you can just make as many as you like so it has a lot of potential for some absolutely stunning creations and I know on Pinterest and online you'll be able to see a lot of different designs and ideas for this amazing product medley but let's jump on in so as some of you know if you've missed it uh, go and check it out we've just done a new card template tutorial update if you haven't got our card templates definitely go and check that out to sort of have a full understanding of what it's all about but basically to to base basically use it as a card uh, sketch like a real life card sketch and just for ideas just to help with measurements as well so that we're not hurting our little brains uh, so for those of you that do have our card templates, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about here. But what I've used is the Calypso Coral base. We're, we've got these two brand new layers. They have just launched this week. So whenever you purchase our tutorial, you get all the updates as well. So then we have the Cajun Cave Craze, which is why we created this new layer this week because of this card today, because I wanted a full card front now someone from the US very kindly uh, let me know that I did say something incorrect this week it happens I'm very sorry I am human <laughs> but apparently in the US you can't get six full card size full card fronts uh, I think we worked out that you can get four and then two of the poppy parade but I'm sure you'll work it out because you're all very smart people um, and then work out the best way to utilize your designer series paper and then the layers or the measurements for the inside section is this mint macaron and the petal pink. So they're the four layers that you're going to need to cut out for your project today. And then you will be set to go. So take a screenshot of your four layers that you need and then you'll know exactly what you're doing. Now, what's really cool about this with the card templates is that I could actually see once I cut out these two, I knew I wanted to do the two pot plants. Uh, I could just see which template was going to fit this nicely so that it had nice space, but then had lots of this designer series paper to show off as well. I didn't want it too large because then it covering this beautiful paper. 
So it's a good good balance. And then on the inside as well, we've got this beautiful decorative section as well. And the inside piece, uh, I think I have it here already pulled out because I was using it before. There it is. Is that Coastal Cabana? Yes. So that's the size Coastal Cabana for the inside. And you could probably, well, what I'm going to do today, now that I've done the layer, I'm doing the Cajun Craze. So I'm doing it right to the edge of the card and I'm doing it on both sides as well. So Cajun Craze and Coastal Cabana for your measurements in the middle. Good. Let's get crafting. Yay. Now, do I have everything I need? Hope so. I feel like I haven't got everything I need, but I think I do. Do I? Do I? The only thing I feel like I'm missing is the base. It feels I feel like it's disappeared. But that's okay. I will make do. So what I'm gonna do, I've got all my pieces already pre-cut. So if you wanted to go and do that, you're welcome to do that. Um, as I said, I've shown you all the measurements if you have my card templates. Now, I've decided that these beautiful pieces are going to be on the inside. So they're the layers for the inside. We'll leave that to the side for now. And this is going to be the front. I thought I'll do something a little bit different to the card because, you know, I always do. I always like to be different. And I will get, I'm pretty sure, yes, I did have it here. I just didn't bring it over. I'll just make sure, I'll do a double check and make sure that it's cut correctly and that everything is hunky-dory. Uh, it's a little bit over, so I'll just give it a little bit of a tiny trim just to make sure it's absolutely spot on. Um, someone mentioned that they were very sad that the card templates weren't absolutely spot on perfect in half. And I said, I'm sure you can cut less than one sixteenth of an inch or a couple of millimetres off your card stuff. And sometimes I've noticed that Stampin' Up! do have a little bit extra, which is good. I'd much rather them have a little bit extra than not enough. Uh, so just always check, even if you're cutting in, in, in half, I always just check the second piece because Stampin' Up! always have that little bit extra, you know, for us, which I think is a good thing, personally. So we're going to score this. I know there's perfectionists out there and I really do feel sorry for you all <laughs> because I'm so not a perfectionist. I'm like, yeah, whatever, it'll be fine. <laughs> Bruno's more of a perfectionist than I am. <laughs> I'm like, just put it together, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, you're if you're a perfectionist, sometimes you can get held back. <laughs> you're like no it has to be perfect I can't do it I can't do it it's like oh well <laughs> the non-perfectionists have just gone and done it <laughs> yeah we're all different aren't we OCD non-OCD there are certain things I am funny about though it's, it's interesting we all have our quirks our things that we feel very strongly about okay so that's right to the edge oh Look how beautiful that looks already just with that beautiful paper. And I love using my Tombow glue. It just is so much easier for me. I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one that I didn't do with the other uh, because as I was photographing this, I was like, oh, it's such a shame you can't see the beautiful embossing that is provided on that very vanilla. So what I'm going to do is just grab some smoky slate because it's a nice little combination with this actually, the smoky slate. And you could totally even mix up these leaves and make them smoky slate and sponge them if you wanted to. I think that would look really hot. Uh, so we're just going to dab. When I do the sponging, I just dab off a little bit of the ink, especially with something like this, because I just want it really subtle, almost like smoky slate is brilliant because it almost gives like an effect of being a shadow. So it's not even like an ink. It just gives it depth and gives it like this extra oomph without it actually taking over. We don't, we want it to stay really subtle, almost like as if it's not there. But just to highlight that embossing a bit more, just so that it's not missed. We don't want to miss it. 
So it really is just such a beautiful little accent. So you could do this with any of your embossing. And I'll show you the difference. Like it looks like nothing's happening here. It's like, really? Is this doing anything? But I'll show you the difference with non sponging. So I'm being very light, very light handed on there. And I've made sure I've done it on the side that's raised up. And you could go for more if you wanted to. You can really go heavy handed if you wanted to. Um, you know, sort of come in and then do some more sort of sponging um, where you're doing the circle motion. I like doing the circle motion to really pick up that colour. Gorgeous. Yeah, so very, very subtle but enough to make a difference because you can see here with these two, it's just that little bit of extra pop. So that's just a, a little technique that you can use if you want to highlight something a bit more but not overtake the card so we'll stick that down make sure you stick it the right way <laughs> all your hard work because that's ready to go and then we're going to put that on dimensionals eventually but we'll just do do that for now i'll also do the inside so that that's all stuck down. So we've got these ones here. And then beautiful. And I love, this is something I've just sort of started doing a bit more is doing the designer series paper on the inside of our cards. Because it is something that when we get this designer series paper, particularly when you're getting like 48 sheets, that's a lot of paper. So we, we want to use it. Just see if this side, it's kind of better if it matches, but that's okay. It's kind of close to matching. There we go. Oh, just gorgeous. Just make sure, I might pull that away a little bit. You don't want to be left. So it might actually be better to, oh, I think it's glued it to the back. Hang on, quickly, quickly, pull away, emergency. Because I, I don't want this to not be able to fold. So this is actually something, because I've never used the Cajun Craze layer before. So this is something to keep in mind. What is it sticking to? Oh, it's sticking at the back here, so it's quite, it's a little bit bigger than it should be. We can fix that. I'm like, what is it attaching itself to? I just want to make sure that that fold, oh, I see, yes. So this fold in here, you just want to make sure that this layer, if you use the Cajun Craze base, this is good for us to learn, um, you know, you, you want to be very careful of your folds because it could interfere with that. Anyway, we'll just lift this up, up a little bit and then we'll be able to do some rectifying. Because ultimately what you probably could do is stick it down and then re-score it because the paper will score with it. It's not going to be a drama. So we'll just come back in here and again our beautiful bone folder will come in very handy with this. And look at that. Voila. So that's good to learn actually. I didn't realise that that could be an issue but as you can see it's quite easy to rectify. I have a little bit extra on the edge here. If you do find that you've got a little bit extra I probably didn't cut the length right. That would be me. You can just come in and trim that off just to make that spot on. And same with there. I always blame the trimmer. <laughs> so not the trimmer, it's so me. <laughs> you can see why I had to create the card templates. <laughs> help, I need help with my measurements. <laughs> We've all been there. 
beautiful. So I'll just push this down a little bit more because I don't want that to be seen. So, yeah, it's an interesting – I'm glad I've tried this Cajun craze. I think for me I might end up sticking to the Poppy Parade layer on the inside just so that you're not having – these sort of issues but anyway as you as you try new things you learn and I'll learn how I can adapt that so that it's spot on I actually yeah now that that's all happy I think I really like that yeah I'm happy now and then on the inside we'll add our now you could actually layer this again on another um piece if you have a have a look at the layers and do it on the night of navy, which would look really hot. But we'll just pop it directly on for now. Neither either. The other thing you could do too is sponge the edge if you didn't want to add another layer, so that you're just giving it that depth of colour, but not um, taking up prime real estate on your designer series paper because you want to show off as, as much of that as you can. Now, what I'm going to do is stamp our beautiful vases. I've got a piece of Whisper White, I mean, some very vanilla here, ready to stamp on. And I've got these two here that I've got to use and the gorgeous, I love Night of Navy and Vanilla. Um, in fact, Night of Navy, Whisper White and Soft, uh, smoky slate is another winner. Now, if you're using the polymer um, stamps, it's always recommended that you pop it on the stamp and pierce. This is a very well used stamp and pierce. I've got a nice, a nice one for my videos. <laughs> There's the nicer one. <laughs> so yeah, it's always recommended because you'll get a much, um, a much better image when you stamp on on here so let's do that and you could do a few of these I'm, I actually did a few of these and pre-cut them and then just popped them into the frames like the die the little envelope and it was so nice because I had a couple of these sitting in here and I was like ah that's so clever Kylie you saved them for another day so I kind of cut a few at once and then just popped them in there and then it just meant, oh, I could just use it straight away. It was very handy. So it's good to do a bit of that. It's like, oh, well, I'm here anyway. May as well do a few more and chop them out, have it all ready to go for the next project. You'll thank yourself later. <laughs> you like that? That's very, what a forethought there, Kylie. <laughs> and then the sentiment that I'm using today is such happy news rather than the sorry you're feeling blue. I know there's a lot of people though going through really tough times. So it's a perfect sentiment for so many that are going through difficult times. We're thinking of you all right now. Melbourne, honestly, every day we are just getting hundreds more with COVID and it's just it is, it's devastating. The whole situation is just absolutely shocking. Um yeah, it's just crazy but you know there's still happy things happening so we need to celebrate those things focus on the positive things for the day there's still you know beautiful people that are having babies and all these wonderful things and good things that are going on around the world so yeah we want to try and focus on that just for our men mental health I think because yes you know, even today I wake up and I'm just like blur <laughs> Oh, that's, a that's it. I have to go for a walk today. I have to get out of the house. I have to go for a walk and take the doggies for a walk and we'll have some fun together because it's just, yeah, it's overwhelming. And we have to wear masks. Masks are mandatory here in Melbourne now. And if you don't wear your mask, it could be a $200 fine. So, and, you know, we're happy because it's keeping people safe. We're, we're very happy to do that. But it's just lots of changes. It's a lot of, it's different to what we're used to. Um, even today, Bruno said, oh, I'm really missing travel. And I get that. I really do. Like as time goes on, um, we're actually being able to look at a lot of our videos and loving all, um, pictures of where we've travelled. And it's quite nice to just stop and look at where we've been, what we've done. 
Um, but it is, it's a, it's a big challenge for so many of us and everyone has different challenges. So don't compare your challenge to someone else and say, well, mine isn't as bad as that. No, yours is still a challenge. You don't stub your big toe and then go, well, that, you know, that's fine. If I don't, it's at least, no, you don't stub your little toe and then go, well, at least it's not my big toe. It still hurts. It's still, you know, whether it's your big toe or your little toe, it still hurts. So, you know, anything that we're going through can still affect us, whether it's big or small in comparison to someone else or not, it's still something challenging for us. So, yeah, don't belittle your challenges. You, you're allowed to say, I feel sad for myself today. That's, that's okay. You're allowed to have a pity party. Let's have a pity party together. Because it is very, very challenging. But we want to keep thinking about other people as well, not just ourselves. So our cards are a beautiful way to do that. We have a special, special gift. So keep sending out those beautiful cards to everyone. We've got our Random Act of Kindness group link below. We've done a big update on that so we can make sure all the addresses are up to date. If you are in our Random Act of Kindness group, make sure you go and update your address. Otherwise, you won't be receiving any. Um, but, yeah, we're really excited. So just use those dies to cut them out. And I've already done that. And I, I'm a bit organised. Don't fall over. <laughs> So I have those here, which we're going to use on here, and I'll prop that one up. I love the dimension that you can use um, with the amazing dimensionals. So that will go there. And then with this sentiment, this is quite a popular thing to do lately. You've probably seen it where people are using a snips to cut out sentiments. So what I recommend with snipping, don't be afraid of snipping. It's a great skill to have, and it's not as hard as you think it's going to be. So just follow along there. I like to cut it out of the big piece so that it's a smaller, more manageable piece for me. And then what you're going to do is come in here and you're moving the paper, not your scissors. So move your paper, come round. And you, you don't have to go too close. Like just remember that you want to give it a bit of space. And that actually gives you a lot more flexibility in how you cut too. Because if it's too close, I think you see the imperfections more. So this is a good way of, of doing it. I actually really, really enjoy snipping. It's like, for me, it's like colouring. I go into uh, like little... Zen happy place. Yep. Half of these bumps I'm just like literally making up. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'll just wiggle it here. Yeah, I'll wiggle it there. <laughs> and then somehow it comes out okay. <laughs> and if you looked closely at this, it is no, by no means perfect at all. But when it's in the big scheme of things, you're not really going to see it to that degree. Really. You're pretty safe. So give it a try. Don't boohoo snipping. Snipping is actually a really great skill to have in your, um, your skill set. Sorry, I'm just plugging in because you know electronics love to be charged I'm hopefully I'm hoping that I've fixed the sound issue today that was the next thing to fix up I was like why is the sound so bad I'm gonna have to sit a book on this so that it doesn't sit up <laughs> so let's start layering so we've got these. Now you're going to need some Knight of Navy to chop out three of the branches. And as I said, if you want to do Smoky Slate, go for your life. Whatever you feel will be a nice contrast. I've already done mine here. So we're ready to assemble our amazing card, which hasn't taken long at all. Feel free to case this idea 
Any any of our cards that we put online, um, they're there for you to case and to copy. So please don't feel like you have to ask. So if I line it up, I sort of get an idea of where I like things first. And once I do that, it gives me an idea of where I want things. So I'll just move that slightly because I want that underneath. Yes. And now that it's just part, like still wet, but not fully, I can pop that in. So I'll just put a little tiny dot behind there. It doesn't need much because I want it to kind of, yeah, sit up happy. Although I want that little piece there to come out. I love the detail in these dies. There we go. Yay. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals to lift this up. And we're going to put dimensionals behind here as well. There we go. Couple in there. Dimensionals are a fantastic way of creating interest and adding a bit of fun to it. And because we've got our little dimensional there, we can actually use that to layer our two pieces, which makes life a lot easier. I want that a little bit higher up. And just make sure that you're not going too high that you're off the card. <laughs> it's like, ah, it actually wouldn't matter. I will go higher because if it goes off, it's actually fine because we're on another layer. And then we're going to do, we can squish that over a little bit, fold, and do it about there. So you can see, like, a lot of the times when I'm doing projects, I'll just sort of put it, hover it first, and then I'll sort of know where I think, yeah, my eye is happy. Um, and then we've got this one here, so we can just attach it where the happy is. doesn't need to be the whole way across. <laughs> Look at me, I'm like, yeah, I put it where the happy is and then I'll move it over. <laughs> Which is fine, it still works. And then it can just sit up like that. I don't want it too far up. So if you need to fold it down, you can. Oops. Um, but yeah, that's great. I'm really happy with that. Looks good, doesn't it? And then we'll dimension all that and put it on there. Yeah, you could totally add some of that gorgeous gold ribbon if you wanted to add some ribbon. Um, a lot of people will ask me, and that's why putting the paper on the inside is really handy because you can cover the ribbon underneath if you wanted to wrap it around. Um, but, yeah, it's really, really pretty. In fact, I'm going to not even going to dimensional this because I think it just looks so pretty, even laid down flat. Um, with bigger surfaces like this, we've got the amazing dimensional sheets now as well. And I saw Patty Bennett, she um, showed how when you're doing a sort of larger piece, that it's quite good using the dimensional sheets because you can just cut strips and sort of make it whatever size you want, which is great. I love having those sheets. So look at that, two cards. Um you know, different paper that we've used from the same suite. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful product medley. Um, so many different ways that you could use this and for different reasons. It fits a lot of different occasions. I love, um, you know, products that are versatile and can give you a lot of options. But I'm really happy with this. So please, you know, case away. If you make it, share it with us. We'd love to see what you create with uh, this idea. And I'll just pop it up on full screen so you can see both of them properly. Very good. I'm very happy with those. Loving the vanilla and the Night of Navy. And I love that pop with the smoky slate. You can even 
even put a little bit more if you wanted to as well of being a little bit careful because you know you can always add more but you can't take away but it's just a great I hope that technique helps you as well with your embossing just to sort of make it pop but still stay stay subtle uh, because you don't want it be, being too busy with too much happening otherwise it detracts from the hero those vases of the hero <laughs> So thank you so much for coming by today. Uh, we really love seeing all of your comments and uh, seeing how it's helping you creatively, things that you're learning. We love being able to sort of support you in your creativity uh, because we know we love purchasing Stamping Up products. I know I absolutely get so excited when my BBB, my big brown box, arrives. Um, even Bruno does as well. But it's really, really nice when we get to use it and create. That's good for us. It makes us feel good when Bruno and I are feeling a little bit blur. Then the best thing we can possibly do is create. I know I'm feeling good now. I'm like, yay, I did some creating. I love it. Um, but even better than that is when you can send some love to someone else who maybe needs a bit of a lift, uh, you, you know, letting them know that you're thinking of them during what is a really challenging time globally. And that's such a precious gift that we have. So keep sharing your creativity, like create, but also share um, and get into that routine of, you know, maybe you might say, well, this week I'm going to send out one card. And I was speaking to a demonstrator this week and she said, that's it. I've decided I'm going for a walk. And when I go for my walk, I'm going to mail my card. So in fact, I've got a few cards sitting out there and I might even write in these as well. And do the same. I thought it was a really great because it sort of gets you, it's getting you out of the house for a reason. And then uh, you're going for a walk, but then you're also posting. So it's like got this, you know, triple fold effect of positivity at a time where you might be feeling a bit yuck. <laughs> we hear you. I feel you. I really do. <laughs> so big hugs to you all. We're thinking of you and please sending, keep sending all your messages. And um, if you know of someone who needs some encouragement that's going through a really tough time, on our Random Act of Kindness group, we've got a section, uh, cards for those who need encouragement. And it's just fantastic because then we can actually specifically um, request a card to be sent to that person which, you know, you may know someone that's um, lost a loved one in death or um, is going through sickness or, yeah, is going through a really tough time and needs some encouragement. So keep sharing what you love with others. We absolutely love all of you and appreciate your support of uh, what we do. And we shall see you next week for another video. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being here.